you read the title. Made a window, made a triangle, made a square, and then I made it so that I could change the size of the square. Then I added instancing so I could draw lots of stuff all at the same time. I gave all the instances their own velocities, and I also made them able to bounce off the walls. So right now, I'm drawing a bunch of squares, but I want them to be circles. So I needed to get an image of a circle. Okay, that's done. Now let's test out if I can pass in some texture information into the shaders. Looks good. I make the circles. I give them their color. And finally, I discard all the pixels which are supposed to be transparent. It does give a little bit of a cartoonish border, which I think actually looks pretty cool, but at the time I wanted to get rid of it. So, yeah. I experimented a little bit and then I figured out a solution. So here I'm drawing these guys with the texture color and a tint and if I remove the texture color then I just get the tint. So the whole thing is just one color. I can switch this back to be just the ball texture and boom problem solved. And that was basically all I did for day one. Okay, day two, so I adjusted the collisions. I made it so that when you collide with the ball, it just resets its position. And then I also experimented a little bit with changing the speed. I decided also that when you collide with a ball that's bigger than you, it should restart the level. So you can see right now, it's just snapping it to a new position. It's randomizing everything at once, but I do change that a little bit later. I noticed my FPS was dropping. 40 to 50 FPS, that's unacceptable. What I did was make the speed of the instances proportional to the frame rate. So here's delta.count is the time it takes to do one frame in nanoseconds. I added a little effect at the beginning of the level. And that's basically it. Enjoy this footage of some gameplay. See you later.